Who are you? I'm Kelsier, the crew leader. We like to feed off the nobility and the ministry. So you're scavengers? Scavengers. <laughs> We're well-bred scavengers, I guess. Well, then you're noblemen. Not full-blooded. Half-breeds. Like you? Me? What are you talking about? Tell me, do you realize what you did back there? I used my luck. I use it to calm people's emotions and make them easier to scam. You have a lot to learn. Here, drink this. You drink it first. Sure, it's just alcohol and some flakes of metal. Metal? You'll have to drink it if you want to find out more about this luck of yours. Now soothe me. That's it then, okay. You can dampen emotions, but can you go the other way? Can you inflame them? I'll try. Okay, now we got two of us on our team. Two what? Mistborn. Ah, I go to refresh my wine and I lose my cozy reading spot? Reading? Why on earth are you reading when everyone else is dancing at the dinner party? Dancing? Is that what they're doing down there? I see you've turned down several offers. Well, I'm new here. I don't yet know the finery of dancing. Well then read then. It's a far better use of your time. <laughs> what type of gentleman are you that you would have your nose in a book rather than speak to a lady who's right beside you? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I know you refused several offers, but shall we dance? Um, no thank you. I won't be dancing this evening. Some other time then. Excuse me. Hi everybody, I'm Joe. And I'm Mary. And, and we're, we're Book, Book Buds. Buds. And today Mary is going to discuss Mistborn, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. And we're going to talk about spoilers too. Joe has not read the book, but I'm going to kind of like speak in code and put some words up on the screen for you guys. So you know what I'm talking about? Joe, you don't really mind like if there's a little bit of a spoiler, right? Like you still... No, I definitely want to read this book and I can handle some light spoilers. Right. So like the major yeah. twist, that's going to be up in some font that you guys can read so that he can still read this. And I'll never have to watch my own video. That's right. Don't watch to the end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. All right, so Mistborn. I first heard about it on BookTube, and I it was like everybody was talking about it. All these guys were reviewing it, and like every so often I'd see a girl talk about it, but ma basically I was like, wow, these guys are really geeking out about this Mistborn book. Like, what's up with that? And it was kind of like how I react with Harry Potter. If mm -hmm. I meet somebody that hasn't read Harry Potter, I'm like, oh my God, you have to read Harry Potter. Of course. Get through the first two. The third is amazing. Once you get that far, you'll be hooked. So, like, I felt like everybody was talking about Mistborn in that way. Yeah. And I thought, well, I have to read it. Like, even if this kind of maybe is like a guy book or something, like, they're just loving it so much, I need to know what it's about. So I read it. And I'd never heard of Grimdark before, too. I had to go and right. Google that term once people were talking about it. And I was like, okay, this is totally brand new for me. I'm going to do it. So when I first started reading it, I said to you, this is kind of like a guy book, I think. Mm, and yes. I'm like, I might not end up really liking it, which is good because then I don't want to get committed to like a whole nother series with my TBR being so long and everything. Mm -hmm. Right? You remember when I said that? I do. And then when I got halfway. She loves it. I, yeah. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> I totally loved it. It was amazing. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of when I read um, Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. I started out in the beginning with Winter is Coming, Winter is Coming. I was like, oh, God, I just I have to read it because I know the show is great and everybody's talking about it and I just want to read the book. So I stuck with it. And then like, oh, my God, Game of Thrones was amazing. This wasn't that bad. Like mm. the beginning wasn't as like Winter is Coming or anything. It mm -hmm. was it was a good beginning but the beginning didn't grip me. Were you guys gripped? Like those of you that love Mistborn, I'm curious, were you gripped in the very beginning? Because I feel like the beginning was a lot of like laying the work, the groundwork for what was to come. So I didn't get gripped by that right away. For me, the turning point was when Vin started to have feelings for Elin Venture, if I'm saying his name right, when she started having feelings for this guy, he was like, from the noble folks and she was from the non-noble which is the ska mm -hmm. and um, she was undercover and like trying to get information and she started having feelings for him then I was like oh okay like it pulled on my heartstrings a little bit there wasn't like a lot of romance or anything in this book 
but it pulled on my heartstrings a little bit and then it put her in this position where she was like divided between the group of folks that she's working with in the rebellion and then like this new commitment to but wait there's good people in the nobility too so it kind of like shifted things so that it was like a little bit more just it was just more involved story that she was dancing this line between the two does the dog want to be on book buzz <laughs> <laughs> i mean like wow can you guys hear that dog <sighs> i feel like also halfway through the book she was getting a lot more training on her misting abilities from the different folks that had specialized misting abilities and having her have like these separate conversations with different characters to learn like new specialty skills and kind of like advance who she was and her character i thought that was really gripping mm -hmm. so that was happening more around that time of the book also somewhere in that timeline there was this happening <laughs> she was like what and like that happened and i was surprised that it didn't like end the story for me and totally derail what was happening because it was like you know it was like the balloon burst and like well what's going to happen now but it, it didn't end there and mm. it just kind of like plowed on and it was like well what's next so there was like this intellectual layer that i loved that was you know well we had a problem things totally sucked this is devastating but what are we going to do next and it was like okay the next layer what's next and the next layer was always like so much better than the layer mm. before it's like we got this new great plan it's more stupid it's more risky but we're gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> so it was fun it was just like it had a momentum that was building i'd say and really going once you pass the halfway point so you didn't have to wait to the end for a, a great big no a I, twist or a fun well fun there time. there were a couple big things at the end but like i really felt like that ball started to just roll more towards the middle okay and like you know it like exploded at the end for sure but um mm -hmm. but it was great it was really great so are we being attacked by bugs sorry it's okay is the main character uh a girl or so i feel like woman? there's two main characters there's kelsier um who you played in the first scene and then there's vin who i am in both scenes and they're like the two main characters um but i enjoyed vin's character more and she's like i feel like she was in the book more frequently because she's in both storylines that are happening mm -hmm. whereas kelsey is just in the one rebellion storyline okay um so yeah hmm. yeah interesting yeah then there but there's a lot of great characters mm -hmm. um i'm curious to see where the future books go with these characters if they like expand on more of them if 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 some of those characters get expanded on more, that will be really cool to see because there's a great base now for a lot of different characters, mm, all right. which is cool. So you asked about the ending. I started to worry that there was gonna be like a cliffhanger ending because there was so much happening in the book. I thought they can't possibly accomplish all of these next layers and finish this up in the book. And that was gonna kind of annoy me if that happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they did wrap it all up and there were twists at the end. My favorite twist was not the last twist. My favorite twist was when, and he, <laughs> I mean, like, whoa. First of all, that he just showed up. Joe's like, what? <laughs> I'm so intrigued. This is so hard for you, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> that he showed up blew my mind. I was like, yes, this is amazing. And then what he did, I was like, that's so fantastic. So fantastic. Huh. Um, so I think that was like my favorite part of the ending. It was like a pre-ending excitement. And then the actual ending part where the, I'm trying to think what else I'm going to write up there. Probably some more things. <laughs> You're really selling this book to me because now I'm dying to know. He's like, I need to know it's written up there. When that stuff happened, um, I kind of had a flavor of that from what was written in some journal scribbles throughout the book and I thought I wonder if hmm and I was right that that's what the twist was um, but when it came out that that in fact was the twist it was still really exciting and I was reading all of this late at night later than I normally would be reading and I just could not stop reading because there was like a lot happening at the ending so I had to keep going keep going and when like the main ending part happened I was so excited by the ass kicking that happened in this book 
that I felt the need to like jump and scream like yeah you know but oh, wow. everybody in my house was sleeping <laughs> I had to be quiet and I said to Joe the next day I'm like I need to film this today right. <laughs> we didn't have time to film that day so I had to hold my excitement till today but like the ending I was I was super pumped at the ending when all that came out all right very fun it was great so you know started slow but turned around great book and so it um, lived up to a type I think it really did, yeah. Okay. So I'm excited to see what the rest of the series is about. Um, I have so much on my TBR. Like, normally when I read a series, I would plow right onto the next book. But yeah. since we've been doing book buds, that's disrupted my style. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit before I read the next one. But when I get there, I'm going to be very excited. How many excited. are you committed to? Of th this or for the TBR? Uh, Mistborn. There's like seven or something. And then there's okay. three more coming out later on. So. Oh, wow. Ugh. <laughs> that's a lot I'm sure they're all fantastic though yes keeping us busy um, so Mary what did you think of Grim Dark in general I was a little surprised that I enjoyed it the way that I did because like what I'm understanding of Grim Dark right now is that like there'll be some serious bloody disasters during like a dystopian time mm -hmm. and main characters could just you know be killed off and stuff like that and I I enjoyed it you know I didn't think that I would be reading about massacres and be like okay with it but it didn't like turn my stomach or anything like that it was very descriptive like lots of blood everywhere piles of parts of bodies and things like that but I feel like the way it was written it wasn't like emotionally written so okay. it was like okay and the same thing okay. with like for you. yes yeah. yeah if it's emotional for me then I'm <laughs> crying hysterically I did not cry in this book um, when a main character gets killed off like in harry potter any main character that died oh, sure i needed a whole box of tissues but for this book if yeah. somebody significant was killed off it wasn't emotional it wasn't written in an emotional way so i was like all right i can accept that mm -hmm. like i guess that needed to happen or you know that's life yeah. <laughs> and it was okay so i enjoyed the grimdark it was good all right cool yeah so i'm wondering who was your favorite character in this novel so I really liked Vin, the girl that I played for the scenes. Um, she was great because she was just learning about the strength that she had and she was becoming kind of like super skilled with all that she was doing. Um, so she was fantastic. But a supporting character that I really liked was Sazed. I know this means nothing to you, but Sazed was really cool. I really liked the, um, like the group of people that he came from and the skills that they had that was like super unique ideas with what he was able to do mm. um, and this was a character that like in the beginning of the book you don't really know what they're capable of mm -hmm. and as you progress through and there's like some serious stuff happening he pulls something out and you're like wow he can do that mm. um, so he was a really cool character too all right yeah I think I'm gonna have to intro my TBR list for this <laughs> you might have to. sounds really good I think I think our booktube friends would be excited if you read it they wouldn't be upset right yeah. So thanks, BookTube, for getting me to step out of my comfort zone and read something new. And if you're enjoying BookBuds, give us a thumbs up. And share us with your friends. And subscribe to our channel, BookBuds! Wow, what a reenactment scene today. Be sure to subscribe. Now soothe me. <laughs> I feel dirty saying that. <laughs> okay. <laughs>